Hey, YouTube. Suns on the two-game victory right now, so we ain't going to get too, you know what I'm saying, high on this win the same way we wouldn't get too low if we, if we was losing. So y'all know, you know what I'm saying? We got to keep the same energy. We can't get too happy when we can't get too sad when we lose. It's the bad, you know what I'm saying? It's the NBA. Let's just be happy that we starting to change. Like, we won eight of our last ten, if I'm not mistaken. And if, does that make, yeah, we won eight of our last ten. Right? Yeah, eight of our last ten. And we on a two-game streak. We about to, I feel like we're about to streak up again. They said, oh, we got the second hardest uh, schedule left of the season, man. Listen, all of that, that's just analytical stuff that won't matter all that bullshit don't matter once the, the, the ball tip off and everybody in between them four lines, you heard? But, hey, we got KD on his return to Brooklyn. And it's ironic how we already played uh, the Nets before, but it was at our home. But that was the first game, I believe, that the big three just got back together for officially. And we lost that game. I'm not going to lie, we lost that game. I think it was missing EG and Grayson, though. If, fact check that for me if I'm not, like, my memory not all the way there. But... We got Mikael and Cam, who was once in Phoenix, going against KD, who was once in Brooklyn. And Yuta, but Yuta played in garbage time, so I don't really count. But let's get straight into this, man. And that's uh, Suns won so in contending fashion at that. Here's Dinwiddie. Gets around Gordon. Shovels underneath and Claxton there for the flush. Hey, Claxton, I'm never going to forgive you for that three you shot in Phoenix, bro. <laughs> never going to forgive you for that. Because when KD was, in the, was on the Nets... That shit, man, yo, you couldn't even make a free throw. Like Frank Vogel said, he's doing a good job transitioning. <laughs> Claxton is a great player, though. Feel the offensive rebound there. Here's Durant off to Nurk. Hey, when Nurk dunked that shot, like, yes, sir. Me enough for like, yo, Bashi, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You been called it. You been said we need Nurk to attack the rim with force. We been like, you know what I'm saying? Let me change the lighting, bro. I don't like this lighting color. But come on, bro. When I'm gonna get my credit about what I was saying with Nurk, like, come on, bro. Can I get my credit, y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. The Nets are gonna sell. Don't start that, JJ. Cause Drew Eubanks was attacking the rim. Nurk picked up on that. Claxton pops it down, and Frank Vogel needs a timeout. Cam Thomas, bro. I love Cam Thomas, bro. Raved about the experience of coaching Kevin Durant. At one he's so underrated. Quite frankly, he's the reason I am the coach here of the Nets. They said he couldn't play defense. They said everything. Watch. He's about to be a superstar, bro. Cam Thomas? That's Cam Johnson. That's Cam Johnson right there. But mark my words. Cam Thomas will be a superstar one day. It's January 34th. I mean, yo, 34th is crazy. January 31st, 2024, at 11.27 p.m., I'm recording this live. There is no, would at least made the NBA Don't count Cam out. I remember what he did when Kyrie went down. Nerf! Flush that shit in there, boy. Phoenix just 5 of 14 as Watford went to fix the shit. Yep. Yeah. Look how we playing, y'all. Look how we playing, y'all. Come on, man. We playing like some contenders now, bro. That ball is moving. This is what I'm talking about. No more ISO ball. No none of that shit we was doing with Utah back in November and all. Man, listen, we hooping right now, and I'm here for it. I don't care what nobody's talking about. All the negative energy from the outside, we ain't going to even let in because we really went through a grind. As Phoenix fans, bro, this whole season was straight down for us. There was no ups for us this whole season, bro. We would get one win and lose five. It was not like it was not like y'all understand how good it feels now that we streaking. Like we had two win streaks now, two seven win streaks at that. Like let's not get too high, get too low, but let's appreciate the good that you know what I'm saying. Let's finally decompress a little bit and accept all the good that's coming to us now. You know what I'm saying? Like we deserve all of this shit for all the way we held it down since uh uh, uh the beginning of the season, bro. Now, to, we was telling everybody, yo, we need the chemistry, we need this, we need uh, Nurk to start playing more aggressive, we need Josh Kogi to start hitting his threes, everybody told me, get rid of Grayson, get rid of Brad Beal, get rid of everybody, like, damn, bro, like, we ain't gonna win every game, y'all, we cannot get, we, like, that's one thing, as a fan, you cannot panic, bro, especially if you got a roster like this, look who you got on your roster, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Yusuf Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Eric Gordon, that's a big six, you tell me you getting rid of a, anybody a part of that big six, why I question you as a fan. Come on, bro. That's like looking at the clip and saying get rid of one of the big four. Like, are, like, is this on? My four, y'all. But, yo, 
Like, this whole season, everybody was just pissing me off. And I get it. I get it. We was losing. But do not get, like, look at why we losing. Don't just look, oh, we lost, we suck. No, we're losing because Bradley Bill's not in the game. He's hurt with his back. He comes back and injures his ankle. So we keep losing. It's not like Bradley Beal's here. Not that Bradley Beal's here. Even if he tonight he scored 12. We don't need him to score 50 points. We just need him on the court. Bradley Beal as a presence alone is a gravitational force on the defense. Like, they got to think about, oh, shit, that's Brad Beal in that corner. I can't help too much here. You get what I'm saying? Whether it's if it's a Josh Okogie, what would you rather have? A Bradley Beal or Josh Okogie in the corner waiting to catch a wide open shot? Come on, y'all. Out to Walker. I ain't going to go on no more rants. I'm going to let this shit play. If you like that rant, though, comment rant, W rant, W rant. His pull-up jumper won't go. Bridges the rebound. Bridges pull-up three is good. I love Bridges, too, bro. Fading away. Can't knock it down. Booker's three is good. When Booker get in that mode, bro. When he just aggressive on a three-point line, it's over. And one, I like that play. I feel like that with Booker and KD. When they both playing aggressive on a three-point line, it's over. I wonder how many attempts we got up tonight, too. We're going to check after this. Yes, sir. Nick Claxton in double figures already tonight. He's got four layups or dunks at the rim playing out of pick and roll. Here's this was tough. That was a tough ass uh, shot right there. Over both of them rim. small defenders. Look, dribble pull up right over um Dennis Smith Jr. Here's Durant with two on him. Like Durant. they're not even there. <laughs> been one of the most productive reserves in the league per minute as he attacks Durant. Could not finish. Good contest there from KD. Durant nice. Hey! Eubanks for the flush. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, when that nigga get in that mode, it's over. It's over. Look. Hey, that's that's Rucker, that's Rucker KD. If, if, all my, if, if you're not a young word, if you're not a young young boy, you know you remember KD and Rucker. Come here. Come here. Come here. That last pull-up you should have known he was going up for. You see that? <laughs> Look at Dinwiddie's leg right here. Once KD see this leg doing the uh, stanky leg is over, bro. We in New York, too. Ironic, huh? Over those. Make them dance. That was a tough-ass layup, too. He laid it up but turned it again. Like, that was tough. Getting used to the offensive load. And still have the impact on the defense. All right, I had to break this down too. I knew I was going. They was going to put this in a highlight. When Mikael Bridges caught the ball, he didn't bring it down. Devin Booker does this too. All the great shooters do it. Clay do it. Look at Mikael, how to, the way he catch it. He never put the ball down. He just went right up. The same way he caught it, he just went straight up. Look. To the offensive load. And Boom. He caught it in position, and shot immediately. Like he caught it right here, and immediately went up. He ain't even have to bring it back down. That's just a shooter's touch right there. I'm not a shooter, but I done studied this shit enough to know that this is what great shooters do. Still have the impact on the defense. Ain't even hit rim. That's how real it is. As he knocks down the three there. The load that it takes in terms of energy and effort to be the number one guy and then turn around and do it on the defensive J -O. end is very difficult. Whoa! I didn't see him airball. <laughs> I was watching this game. I must have been eating. One guy and then turn around and do it on the defensive end. It's very difficult. Damn. <laughs> Look at Nas Little in the back. Hey, this is an L man's moment right here. That nigga turned around and laughed. <laughs> Look at this nigga right here. Look. That nigga said, damn. <laughs> Yo. Yo, let's talk about Nurk. Yusuf Nurkish, my nigga. I know you white, but deep down you black, my brother. This nigga was like, I'm glad you got it out the way before Black History Month. But bro, Nurk was bullying the nest the whole night. I wonder how Nurk, how much points Nurk had. I'm gonna check. We gonna check this all the stats after this. But Nurk was bullying these people the whole night. I promise you, everybody was getting it. Right over bridges. Right. Big Nurk. Couldn't hit from Woo. deep with a fading shot clock. Chill. Big Nurk. I mean, rinse and repeat over and over again. 
and Yusuf Nurkic has eaten well. Eating well. Pause. With his pregame preparation. Bridges fading away. Knocks it down after Bates Diop hit the dip. Yo, Mikhail is so tough, bro. Here's Thomas. Hear that man go. Hear that man go. Kim Thomas. Somehow able to execute from that angle. That boy tough, man. They will be quite formidable when it comes to their big three. As Bridges. That was a crazy three, bro. Another three. 15 points in his first half for Mikhail Bridges. Gordon. Big Nerd. Stop playing with him. Half the team was in zone, half was in man. Nurkic gets a wide open layup. And there again, it's Kevin Yo, Durant. Bro, I don't think I understand, bro. I might be the biggest Cam Thomas fan, bro. Like, he was really a hidden gem. Luckily, Kyrie went down at the perfect time or he would not have this opportunity, bro. Like, this is beautiful how they giving him opportunity. Like, I want this nigga to showcase his talent. Like, I know what a dog look like. Cam got, Cam got a dog in him, bro. Real shit. As Cam Thomas... And I like him because he's quiet like KD. Like, real killers just move in silence, bro. Like, they kill and don't show no emotion. That's when you know someone's dangerous. Kyrie, you don't see him show emotion that much. KD, you don't see him show emotion. Uh, 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 who else? Uh, who else I can think about? Cam. It's a bunch of people that kills and don't show emotions at all. And y'all gonna see, speaking of emotion, what D-Bug did to Mikel at the end of the game. And one opportunity. JJ talked about earlier would be that backup big... Provide some size on Nurkic. Just Gordon cans. EG Jordan. shot good. I know he shot five for nine from three, though. I, I looked at that. Where you can get into some more rotations. They said Cam don't play defense, though, right? Johnson ahead of the field flushes it down. He just went upstairs for that steal. Off to Johnson. Catch, fire, and hit. Yo, Cam Johnson jumps. Uh, Cam Johnson. Is that a tongue twister? Cam Johnson's jumper. Cam Johnson's jumper. Yo, try to say that three times fast, y'all. Cam Johnson's jumper is a... Uh, all right, all right. Cam Johnson's jumper is OD fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he really... His form is fire. He, he kind of got, like, a Michael Porter Jr. Like, I don't know what you call a... I know this is, like, your base. But, like, I, I can't explain it. But he kind of got that form. Brand, 16 points, Maybe it could be because he's just a tall, light skin that could shoot. <laughs> Is for Nurkic, the catch, the lay, and the foul. Booker able to save it. Beal, he got it. On a three. You got that man. Phoenix on a 7 0 run. Booker up to 17 points, and the lead is seven for the Suns. This is where KD takes Bailey's over, by the way. He is good. Offensive skill set. He kind of got away from it. KD about to take this over the game. As a Kogi, that's found money for Phoenix. Well, that's the first possession. That's the Booker. Where he at? Working his former teammate Johnson. Now oh yeah, this was Nurk bully time. Nurk and KD Johnson were taking over. Yusuf Nurkic with 23 points. Next 23 already is good. Look, this KD takeover time. That's one. Durant. Nothing but net. No foot on the line this time either. Baxton. Good dig there from Booker. Comes up with a steal. Durant in transition. Weaving, hooking, and hitting. Kevin Durant has it all going. Booker gives it up to no one in particular, but Nurk is hey. here. And it's been that <laughs> Yo, this Nurk. one had me weak. Don't ever dunk on me and pat my head, gang. That's disrespectful as shit. I'm from New York, nigga. Where the my mother, if you dunk on me and pat my head, it's going to get lit. Nigga, I don't care how many refs is in there. I don't care about none of that, nigga. Don't ever pat a grown man upon the head when you just dunked on him, nigga. That's disrespectful. I don't care where y'all niggas grew up at. Am I bugging? That's disrespectful as hell. Don't ever pat a nigga head after you just dunked on me. Yo, you crazy? <laughs> Yo, nerk my nigga though, but that was disrespectful as hell. Me, personally, where I grew up, we would have got it on. Facts. But Nurkic is there, and it's been that kind of night. That's crazy. Yusuf Nurkic has his buddy Cam Thomas on him. Telling Nurkic, get out of here. I want this. Durant working Thomas. Oh, what? Banks it in, plus the foul. 
<laughs> Yo, KD, he showed no emotion, but he still talks shit like too small. <laughs> I would put the Phoenix Suns in the same class as Minnesota and OKC. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's really a classic moment right here. Like, bro, KD, he pulled this move out on... Who was it on the Knicks? I, for, I forget. It's, uh... Who was it on the Knicks? KD done did this to. I forgot his name. The ball guy. I forgot his goddamn name. No, I agree. I would put the Phoenix Suns in the same class as Minnesota and OKC. A team that has just been put together here in Phoenix... I still believe that Phoenix has a ton of talent, but not quite a complete roster as some of those other teams. KB Day. In the corner, that three is good. That hurt this him right there. This is a team that is last in the NBA in offensive efficiency in the fourth quarter. Wants them putting up 30. There's two. Here's Thomas. Out to Walker, a clean look. Back iron, no. Another offensive rebound. Walker, another good look. And that Lonnie Walker, tough good. too, bro. What opened my eyes was last playoffs what he did to Curry in the fourth. You would have thought he was Jamaican the way he was cooking Curry. He and Victor Wembanyama are the only players in the NBA averaging more than 20 Momentum swing right here. Look at this. Pull up three. Mikhail. Boom. And Bridges, who is 27, also never missed a game with Villanova either, playing in all 116 games, including two championships. With Bridges on him, throws it away. KD, you got to work on those turnovers too, my brother. Like, you be throwing them turnovers too easy. Like, I know you, which, whatever you see, I know it look open, but they reading that scouting report crazy, bro. They know you like them cross-court passes. They know you like making them passes that look open, and then they just jump in the lane at the last second and get a steal. They reading them reports, my brother. Walker on the steal. 13th turnover from Phoenix. Walker's three is good. Booker's pull up. No good. Rebound. Nurkic. Off to Durant. Durant. Euros and flushes. Yo. Durant double. It's crazy, bro. Nurkic dishes. Gordon sets himself Tough. up. And pops it. Yeah, EG was three. cooking Lonnie in the fourth, too. I ain't gonna lie. Kick the backboard with your feet. Is what you Here you go. This was a great play, too. That was a great defensive play. Better offense. Hey! That man different. It's just so hard to trap against this lineup when it's Nurkic and shooters everywhere. They was, by the way, they was booing KD. The Nets was booing KD, but then they ended up cheering for him. Like throughout the game after like the Bulls died down, but they booed him at first and this is why KD went off here in this Eastern Conference Here's Bridges In the corner Cam Johnson. Wow, that was a tight space And that's exactly what it is teams are ramping up the pressure. They're picking up full court in the fourth quarter Beal and Booker are not used to that. They have not cooked on position as Eric Gordon with the if you look at Spence Dinwiddie they didn't show the angle, but I, they showed the replay, and I seen his face right here. Sensitivity. I don't know if you can see his face right there behind the backboard. If you look close enough, you'll see him right there. Like he's through the backboard. Just look at I. Right, just look at this white shoes right here. This is Spencer Dinwiddie. Look at his reaction. To that. They have not played at that position as Eric Gordon with the circus three. <laughs> he was like Durant darts ahead. This was a dagger. Sally, look at this Sally. <laughs> He had book. He had Mikael with the. It is all cosmetic at this point. <laughs> As Phoenix. Hey man, that was a good ass game. Let's go look at the box score though. KD with a big 20 points. 20. Uh, I said 20 points. 20 plus minus. Even though we don't pay attention to that too much, 20 plus minus is a high, high ass plus minus. If y'all don't know, um, 33 points. He might start averaging 30 on the Nets. Who knows? Because <laughs> you know how much he averaged against his former team, OKC. But, hey, he got 33 points. How much rebound? Five rebounds and eight assists. Damn, he almost had a double-double. Could call it triple-double halfway. But um, how much he shot from the two from six from the three? Kind of poor. EG shot efficient from the three, 55. Five out of nine. Took nine threes and shot over 50%. It was amazing. 17 points because of that. Uh, Nurk. Nurk went crazy with 28. Nurk damn near had a 30-point double-double. Like, how much assists he had? 30. He almost had a 30-point triple-double. Nurk had the best game over here. 
Um, who we else? Who else we got? Brad Bill. I told you I had a 12 points. That was calm, but we need him just for the gravitational pull. He gonna get his 30s and 40s. He dropped 37 against the Lakers, so we ain't gonna trip too much about it. Um, Devin Booker, not 17, 52% from the field goal, four from six from three. That's highly efficient. I'm telling y'all, if Booker start unleashing that three point line, y'all better run. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, who else? Uh, 22 points. How much rebounds Booker had? Three and eight assists. Yeah, bro, they really be distributing the ball. Like, look, Bradley Bill, five assists, Nurk, six assists, KD, eight assists, and Book, eight assists. That don't happen. The whole start of five damn near could have had ten assists. Um, Josh Kogi would hit the big three. That was the big three we needed because that changed the whole momentum of the game. It was like, we can't even leave him open. It's over. KBD hit a 3-2, which brought us up 16 points, I believe. Um, Cam Thomas, late. Hey, listen, man, 25. He was a leading scorer. I'm telling y'all, this boy, is spe this man is special. Uh, one out of four from the three-point line. He forced a couple, though. Uh, how much Mikhail? Six from 12. That's 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 decent. Six from 12 from the three-point line. He had 21 points. Of, uh, seven for 16. He wasn't that efficient. 43%, but that's still decent. Um, But, yeah, bro. Lonnie Walker. We, we ain't gonna forget Lonnie. 19 points off the bench is amazing, bro. 19 points off the bench from Lonnie Walker, man. How much threes? Lonnie hit three threes. But it felt like he hit six the way he was playing aggressive out there. His defense was amazing. Uh, how much steals? Look, I told four steals. Lonnie's defense was there. He was annoying on the steals. I ain't gonna lie. But, hey, this is the end of the video, man. I appreciate y'all. If y'all watch this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 100, bro. Can we hit 100 subscribers, bro? If you watching this, hit that subscribe button. I don't care how long you've been watching me for. Just hit that sub button right now, bro. Just do it for me, bro. I'm trying to hit 100 followers, I mean subscribers. And hit that like button while you at it too. That means a lot. It helps push the video out there. And I'm going to end it right here, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me. And we're going to see y'all in the next Suns game. Let's go.